Hello gamers, this is Game Freaks 365. Today we are playing Broforce for the PC. This is a Steam Early Access game that came out in 2014. due for full release this year. So what we have here is a side-scrolling shoot 'em up It's an indie game from Revolver. It's a studio that also brought us Hotline Miami. Or a publisher that brought us Hotline Miami, I should say. Basically, the premise of this game is you play as 1980s and 1990s. Oop. 1980s and 1990s action heroes. It's really over the top shoot, uh, shooter and action game. So I'm actually starting this game off from the beginning. These first few levels are really easy, more or less a tutorial, just to get the hang of things. The game itself is very straightforward. You kill a bunch of terrorist bad guys. And try to reach the end of the level. That's pretty much it. And the way to get there is through a bunch of creating mayhem, more or less, and trying to survive, which is more difficult than it looks. Exploded there. That's not not something we want to do. All right. So we, we're playing the arcade mode here. There's also a story mode, and they're planning on adding other modes like um, deathmatch and stuff like that. All oh, right. Now we're on the. We're Arnold again. I could play this whole game doing really bad impressions. I'll spare you of that. I'm sure you'll appreciate the fact that... Very good at impressions. So these little flags here act as checkpoints. If you have lives after you die, you respawn at the checkpoint, obviously. You always start as a new action hero at the beginning of each level. Yeah. 
<laughs> Don't mess with Chuck Norris. Alright, let's see if we can... Uh, okay. Go over here. I like his shotgun. It's pretty effective. <laughs> All right, so we just unlocked a new action hero, which they actually call them bros in this. Here we have uh, Mel Gibson, who they call Broheart. Oh. And you do that by rescuing these POW guys. And each time you rescue a new POW, you gain a life, and you also get closer to unlocking a new action hero. Here we have Sean Connery as James Bond. All of the bros have a unique weapon, and in James Bond's case, he has a silenced pistol. Shuck it, Trebek. I know I said no impersonations. So this is a very violent game, obviously. Even though it is pixelated. He has a really nice silenced weapon. Kills him in one hit. There's a lot of destruction that you can cause. Pretty much all this isn't is destructible. There are a few platforms that are metal and you can't shoot or cut your way through those. You have this main weapon here. You also have usually a knife, but in Mr. Connery's case, or Mr. Bond, he has his fist. And then you have some kind of secondary power-up. Ah. Uh, that was not good. All right. It was not smart. really good variety of characters that you can play as. And if you have any familiarity with action movies, then you know who they are. Here we are as Neo from The Matrix. Ooh. Just ran past them. This, of course, is Ash from... Evil Dead. I mean, the younger viewers probably don't remember Evil Dead. It's a cult horror movie from the 80s. Although they did release a remake a few years ago. Oh. He survived somehow. Area liberated. Three, two, one. Let's go. So this game really just kind of pays homage to, you know, some, everyone's favorite action movies. Okay. Well, that's our first mission failed. Get used to it. It's gonna happen. The only penalty for dying is you have to restart the level. So it's not the end of the world. Oh, I was hoping to. Rest in peace, bro. Three, two, one, go! 
So sometimes you can create your own path and that can be advantageous to you because enemies can't reach you in some instances. But yeah, this this definitely pays, I would say, both homage to the action genre. Um, but also, I think it's a, <laughs> a little satirical. Just in how over the top this action is. Along with the hyper-patriotism themes. Maybe a little bit of social commentary there. Oh. Well, I do like his sword, but we'll s we'll get the extra life instead. Uh, okay. So this is our first boss fight. I wonder who this is supposed to be. Is this Ash again? So the strategy here is to try to avoid machine gun fire and try to get in as many hits as you can. There we go. That's the first boss. Check out the next video for more Bro Force.